Good morning and welcome to Miss Elsie's Storytime here at Bristol Library. We're so glad to be here again today. We're going to start out, of course, with our good morning song. And if you've got a musical instrument like a ukulele or whatever, you can sing along. You can play along and sing along with me. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear children. Good morning to you. Buenos dias, Ate. Buenos dias, Ate. Buenos dias, niños. Buenos dias, Ate. Yeah. Our story today is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. I have to apologize for, for the way this looks. It's really very light, so I hope I can hold this where you can see the pictures. We'll just work with it. Next, next week we'll try to read a story that has brighter colors in it, okay? Now, I've heard this story many ways, uh, different ways, from this particular one. And that's okay because sometimes people retell the same story and they add a little bit to it. And this story is adapted by Tom Roberts. So it might be a little different from what you've heard, but that's okay because the main thing is the main part of the story gets told again. Okay, so let's, let me get up here where maybe you can see this better. And I will get my glasses so I can read it better. Three Billy Goats Gruff, so the story goes, were grazing in a fresh, fragrant field, munching on the grass and thinking of finer things. And here's, here are the goats over here. I hope you can see these. Um, I think that's probably about right. Okay. And then here they are again. Now you can see them maybe a little bit better. Gruff! Snapped the biggest billy goat, Gruff, ripping up some turf. Gruff, Gruff! Chomped the middle billy goat, gnashing some arugula. Gruff, Gruff, Gruff! Bleated the youngest billy goat, not to be outdone. To no one's surprise, the three billy goats call themselves Gruff. And truth to tell, all three yearned to graze on the greens in the meadow of clover across the river. But to get over there, they had to cross a bridge, which wasn't so bad, but under the bridge lived a terrifying troll with eyes like burning coals and a nose like an old acorn squash. The troll was wicked enough to frighten off even the bravest of travelers. And here he is. Here's the troll right over here. Can you see him? The youngest billy goat gruff, lulled by the lure of finer fields, stepped onto the bridge. Clip-clop went his little hooves. Up sprang the troll. Who dares to clip-clop over my bridge? fumed the troll. It is only I, Mr. Troll, the youngest billy goat gruff. Crossing over to finer fields, said the little goat in a tiny voice. Billy goat for breakfast, Billy goat for lunch, I shall eat you up, slobbered the troll, licking his puffy lips. Oh, don't bother with me, squealed the youngest Billy goat gruff. My brother's crossing behind me and he's much more to your liking. The troll's great nose quivered as he thought. Mm, then his eyes blazed bright as he said, Go your way then, I shall bide my time. And the youngest billy goat gruff clip-plopped across the bridge and into the meadow of clover. <gasps> Ooh, you can see the billy, here's the billy goat right over here. Yeah, and that's the troll. Later on, the middle billy goat gruff stepped onto the bridge. Clip-plop went his medium-sized hoofs. Up sprang the troll. Who dares to clip-clop over my bridge? roared the troll. It is only me, Mr. Troll, the middle billy goat gruff, crossing over to greener grass, said the middle goat in a medium sort of voice. Billy goat for breakfast, billy goat for lunch, I shall eat you up, trilled the troll, rubbing his bloated belly. Oh, please, man, leave me alone said the middle billy goat gruff. My brother's crossing behind me. He's much more of a meal for you. The troll thought again. 
tapped his nose and hefted his belly. Go your way then, I shall bide my time. In the middle, Billy Goat Gruff clip-clopped across the bridge and into the meadow of clover. And here we you can see the, grill, the Billy, Billy Goat and the trowel. Shortly after that, the biggest Billy Goat Gruff stepped onto the bridge, clip-clop, went the big hooves, and the bridge groaned under his weight. Up sprang the troll. Who dares to clip-clop over my bridge? bellowed the troll. It's only I, Mr. Troll, the biggest billy goat gruff, crossing over to mo more verdant vittles. Billy goat for breakfast, billy goat for lunch. Billy goat, billy goat, munch, munch, munch. I shall eat you up. But the biggest billy goat gruff growled, Trolls have noses, trolls have ears, goats have horns as sharp as spears. And with that, the biggest billy goat gruff lowered his head, pawed the ground, and charged at the troll, his sharp horns shining. He butted the troll up, up, up in the air, over the bridge, and into the river. The troll sank like a stone and was never seen again. The three billy goats gruff, so we're told, are still there, grazing in both fields now and growing fatter every day. The end. Well, thank you for sharing that story with me. And I think I'd like to uh, say a shout out to one of our storybook friends. Today is Elias's birthday. He's five years old. So, happy birthday, Elias. And now we're going to sing our goodbye song. Adios, goodbye, goodbye, my friends. Adios, goodbye, until we meet again. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>